Britain's Prince Harry was awarded significant damages after London's High Court ruled on December 15 he had been the victim of phone hacking and other unlawful acts by journalists on British newspapers with the knowledge of their editors. The prince became the first senior British royal for 130 years to give evidence in court when he appeared as the star witness at a trial in June against Mirror Group Newspapers, the publisher of the Daily Mirror, Sunday Mirror and Sunday People, who he said had targeted him for 15 years, the judge's decision to award him £140,600 and his conclusion that the paper's editors and executives knew about the wrongdoing will be seen a major victory for the prince, Harry called for the authorities and the police to take action against those identified as having broken the law. ...against the company and those who have broken the law. My commitment to seeing this case through is based on my belief in our need and collective right. The court has in fact confirmed that all four claimants were subjected to voicemail interception and unlawful information gathering, but no one would have believed that was the case given how this trial was covered in the UK. My commitment to seeing this case through is based on my belief in our need and collective right to a free and honest press and one which is properly accountable when necessary. That is what we need in Britain and across the globe. Anything else is poisoning the well for a profession we all depend on. The court has ruled that unlawful and criminal activities... The journey to justice can be a slow and painful one, and since bringing my claim almost five years ago, Defamatory stories and intimidating tactics have been deployed against me and at my family's expense. And so, as I too have learned through this process, patience is in fact a virtue, especially in the face of vendetta journalism. I hope that the court's findings will serve as a warning to all media organisations who have employed these practices and then similarly lied about them cover-ups and destruction of evidence, the shocking scale of which can only be revealed through these proceedings. Lying under oath of the Parliament, during the Leveson inquiry, to the stock exchange, and editors such as Piers Morgan clearly knew about or were involved in these illegal activities. Between them, they even went as far as lying under oath to Parliament during the Leveson inquiry, to the stock exchange, and to us all ever since. Do their duty for the British public and to investigate bringing charges against the company and those who have been. Today's ruling is vindicating and affirming. I've been told that slaying dragons will get you burned, but in light of today's victory and the importance of what is doing what is needed for a free and honest press, it is a worthwhile price to pay. The mission continues. Thank you very much. Excuse us. Thank you. So it's twice in the year, so we're hoping we'll be able to keep up this pace. Last time we're going to do this whole circle this week. Disappointed when I re-emerge. So re I would call it a thing. temporary hibernation, but, but of course my opinions remain my opinions. Your left, your left, your left, mate. Why do you need 